Hello everyone, it's Della Dulac. Today I'd like to show you some of my samples from the November 2021 Paper Pumpkin. This one is called Gifts Galore. Super cute little gift bag um, holders. Really cute, but you can cut these apart and make some cards out of them as well, which is what I'm going to show you today. So, this is the stamp set. I have most all of these are still on blocks because I'm still using them. What a fun little stamp set. I love the greetings. Very fun little scripty font. And this little present. So here are the components of this kit. So you get a lot of these. Let's see, you get six of each because you're going to make three of each of these little containers or you can cut them up for cards. So there's this snowman. Snowmen are my favorite. I love snowmen. And there are some trees and then a pile of presents. And of course you get some uh, different, different adhesives. You get some glue dots and um, this is the tear tape. And here are some tags. Different size tags. And then here are the base bases for the bottom of the gift bag holder. So you would fold these up and you can attach one of these to the front and the back. And then you can take one of these cute little cello bags with the little snowflakes on them, fill them with whatever you want, candies, little hand soaps, and just tuck those right in there. Let's move some of these out of the way and let's get to some of those cards that I made. Okay, let me just take this whole thing out. So again, you also get the, um, the ink spot. This is Flirty Flamingo. And you get some cute little gold paper clips and some twine. Let's move the box out of the way. And here are the cards that I've done. So you can take your tree and cut it. I did a partial cut on this one and I put this one on a six by four. Um, let me grab the all, just grab all of these and bring them over here. So you can get the white uh, note cards and envelopes. So you can get the little card, hold of this here, here we go. So this is the, the large size and this is the small one here. So you can fold that. I didn't do any of them on the small ones, but in this pack, the Memories and More cards, you get these two sizes. So this would be for a three by four card front. This would be for a uh, four by six card front. So the card itself is four and a quarter by six and a quarter. So I just took this one and I added the tree since it's a little bit larger size than a regular card. I wanted it to have that whole length of the tree. So that's what I did with this one here. I definitely recommend if you're a Paper Pumpkin subscriber, always pick up a package of the, the note cards, the Memories and More pack, or just the note card size. And then you'll have some extra cards on hand to make your kits go a little bit further. So this is the note card size, and I did do a sample with this too. But then you have three different sizes to choose from when you're making cards. So this one here. So you can see the size comparisons there. So those are the note cards. Super quick and easy. This one I have done the tree and this partial that I cut off I put on the inside. Very cute. Great way to, to use some of that. I do use the stamp here to do the present and on the inside so it looks like that present is tucked right underneath that tree and then I stamp the envelope as well. This one I love these are my favorites. Okay so I took the tree and the snowman and you can you can cut them down just like this and leave it and then they'll both fit on your regular your standard card that you would make or you can turn them into an easel card. Which I 
just like that. Super cute. I love that. You can use the bottom. I did trim just the sides just a little bit because it is a little bit wider than your regular card. But it makes the cutest little easel card. And then I just popped these up with some dimensionals. So it can open up just like a regular card. And it's got the greeting there. And then hopefully they'll realize that's an easel card and do that. And I just did some snowflakes here. Very cute. Those are my favorite. I love them. Very fun. So just very quickly, if you have not made a card like that before, all I did was take my my eight and a half by 11 and I cut it lengthwise instead of horizontally. So you would cut that, then you would fold or score it in half this direction, fold it back on itself, then cut another piece of the same color so that would be your card base. And then that's how it would open up. So you would glue these two pieces here together. And then that's how we did this. Very quick, very cute. Okay, so let's move on to some of these other cards. Here is are the presents. So the presents, you can cut these apart in several different ways to use them for more cards. You could, this doesn't fit uh, on a card base, a, si a regular card base, it doesn't really fit on here either. You could just barely fit that on and then trim off the edges, or you can just cut the presents apart a little bit. So this one here, these three, I left together and just cut these three off. And then I just trimmed around those edges there just so it had still had a little bit of that white border. And then one of the presents from the top I used on the inside and then stamped one with that stamp for the inside. Used the tag. I also used this here on the top on the on the bottom of my tag. A little bit of the twine. I popped it all up with some dimensionals. Again, this I've cut this just a little bit different this way. I did cut these three off and had this configuration left that. And then again, I just took one of those presents and put that on the inside and the tag. And this one here, I've taken these did, again with the stamp as well. Just kind of did a little bit different uh, configuration with those. That stamped present on the inside. So you can do a whole bunch of different things. So this, when you're all done with your with your components from your kit, this is the note card size, and all this is is the stamps. So I've stamped several boxes up uh, in different colors. I just put the bow on the top of that one, and on the inside did the same thing with the envelope, stamped a few presents. So this is just with the stamp. So when you're all done with your components and you still have your stamp set left over, you could do something like that. You can also do something like this with the stamps. And then I took a scrap of cardstock and wrapped it with a little bit of ribbon so it looked like a present. Super cute, very quick, really fun uh, kit. I love this kit. So these were really fun to play with, cut apart. These, I definitely think these are my favorite. I think I will do the rest of my pieces over here like these two cards. I just love those. Tons of fun. Thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you like these projects. Give me a thumbs up and don't forget to click that bell button so you don't miss a video. Have a great day.